This is Optimum Nutrition's casein protein powder, one of the best selling caseins, and I'll have an Amazon link to it below in the video description. And as you can see, I've been buying this stuff for quite a while, so I'll talk about its pros and cons, and I will also do a mix test. You get several flavors to choose from. I mostly buy vanilla, but I've had the chocolate too, and it's really good. I just tend to stay away from anything that's chocolate flavored, uh, simply because of the cocoa aftertaste I don't really care for. Uh, the price always seems to change. On average, I pay somewhere around $60 for a four pound container through Amazon. Uh, there's 53 servings per container, so it's just over $1 per serving, which is a little more expensive than the typical casein powder. For the nutrition, in a 33 gram serving, you have 120 calories, only half a gram of fat, three carbs, and 24 grams of protein. I do wish the sodium was a little lower, but there aren't any added sugars, and you get a good mix of calcium, magnesium, and zinc, which this is a great source of. I know zinc plays a big role in your immune system, among other benefits, of course. For the ingredients, you have micellar casein, your protein, which is good, uh, natural and artificial flavors, uh, salt, there's both inulin and a gum blend, both are fibers added to improve digestion, sunflower and or soy lecithin, which are emulsifiers, magnesium and zinc, which are your vitamins, and there's also sucralose, which is an artificial sweetener. Now we'll do a mix test so that you can see how well this stuff mixes. I'm going to follow Optimum Nutrition's directions just to make it fair which is 10 to 12 ounces of water. I'll use 11 ounces. Then add one scoop, which is 33 grams of the protein powder. And now we'll shake it together in a blender bottle for 30 seconds. As you can see, after 30 seconds, the consistency is smooth and there aren't any clumps, which is very nice. As far as when to use the casein protein, uh, it's a slow digesting protein, so most people use this right before they go to bed. Uh, that way you have protein that will feed your muscles while you're sleeping. And this is even more important when you're in a calorie deficit. I'll just mix a scoop of this with some water about 30 minutes before bed. And I've been doing that for years. So please consider giving the video a thumbs up. I hope you found it helpful and thank you.